Where do stocks go from here? I think invariably they're going to go up from here. Um, there's a famous saying from Graham, uh, Benjamin Graham. He's a famous economist. He says in the short term, the stock market is a voting machine. In the long term, it's a weighing machine. And I think right now it is a voting machine. We have a lot of you know, unrest going on in the Middle East. We don't know how that's going to pan out. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's so many negatives out there. 5% so treasuries, 8% mortgage, wider war in the Middle East. And you still say stocks go up from here? Well, I think you have to keep your eye on the prize. And bottom line is we're in the third quarter earnings season. It's going to come in probably better than expected. It should be pretty good. Uh, but then we go into next quarter. We're going to see close to double-digit earnings. Next year, we should see double-digit earnings growth. And meanwhile, valuations are relatively cheap. If I take those magnificent seven stocks, the mega caps, and I take them out of the S&P 500 because they have such a huge weighting, about 30%. Yeah. You're down to a multiple of like 14 and a half percent. That's low. Or excuse me, times forward earnings. So low. No, okay, that's, yeah, yeah. that's 14 times the expected future earnings of a company. That's the stock price of the all the S&P 500 except the Magnificent Seven. That's right. That's, that's right. a low valuation. And their earnings are going up. So I think you have a great combination right now of low valuations. You've got earnings going up, and meanwhile, let's face it, inflation is coming down, right? If you start looking at the numbers, that, that shelter cost, which is a big component of CPI, that's a lag. That's going to start coming down a lot in those numbers over the next couple of months. So that's going to probably convince the Fed not to raise interest rates again, and the labor market's hot. Like, that's what's been driving this economy. That's what's going to continue to drive this economy. Okay, but let's go back to the original premise. The okay. war appears to be widening. Um, if, it, if it widens further, more countries involved, more a bigger a region, bigger footprint of the war in the region, that's not going to be good for stocks, is it? I think short term is definitely detrimental, right? And I think it is already. We've already seen an 8% correction in the market because of the conflict going on in the Middle East. So, you know, I can't predict how, how it's going to end, but I know historically, anytime you've had a conflict in the Middle East, it's always been a really good long term buying opportunity. So at this point, I think you deploy your capital, you get in, you don't sit on the sidelines and wait. As I always say, markets don't settle down, Stuart. They settle up. So you've got to take advantage of the fact that you have uncertainty right now. You're a brave man, but there you go. All right. In a time of war, he buys. That's very true, Brian. <laughs> don't get carried truth. away, son. All right.